Amid continuing violence in the Middle East and tensions here at home, local and federal law enforcement agencies say they will be on heightened alert during tomorrow night's Menorah in the D ceremony in downtown Detroit. CBS News Detroit's Andres Gutierrez joins us from Campus Marshes Park with more on how police officers and organizers plan to deal with possible protesters. It's already a busy time around campus marshes with visitors taking in the holiday sights and sounds. Detroit police keeping a visible presence in about 24 hours. More officers will flood the area as the Jewish community will gather to light a 26 foot menorah on the first night of Hanukkah. It's an opportunity to be in the center of the city. Religious freedom. It's a celebration for all that we can celebrate here and celebrate light and hope and look and doing good deeds. The stage for this year's menorah in the D ceremony is being set up at a We're time when the FBI says say America is facing the highest risk of a terror attack in years. I've never seen a time where all the threats or so many of the threats are all elevated all at exactly the same time. A new intelligence report reviewed by CBS News shows groups like Al Qaeda and ISIS will likely use the Israel Hamas war to increase calls for violence. We have a uh, criminal intelligence unit that works around the clock. They've been putting out bulletins every hour on the hour. Uh, so we're prepared. Detroit police say there aren't any credible threats locally, but anyone attending Thursday's celebration will have to go through one of three entrances equipped with a weapons detection system. We're not slowing anything up. Uh, we'll have a very, very large police presence. We'll have a presence that you won't know about. We also have a large uh, uh, private partnership security presence as well. In recent weeks, Metro Detroit has seen several pro-Palestinian rallies, and so protesters will have a designated area outside of the fence perimeter here. But sometimes there's darkness in our life, sometimes personal darkness, sometimes from the world around us. Sometimes it gets very dark. And the answer is we go up and we light a candle. We light up a menorah, and every person that lights that candle and brings more light into the world by embracing someone, by doing a good deed, by coming together as a community, we bring light into the world and it dispels the darkness. Organizers do plan to live stream the ceremony that begins at 530. For those who are planning to see it in person, they'll have to RSVP online. Reporting from Campus Marcia, Saunders Gutierrez, CBS News, Detroit.